People talk about Eastern Kentucky is poor and they don't really have anything. Well, how are we ever going to have anything if our government won't invest in our infrastructure? We're people too. We're American citizens and we deserve access to clean, affordable drinking water. This water disgusts me. I'm afraid of this water. We deserve roads and bridges. This whole road just lit off. I know what we could have. I know what it could be like. And I want that for my people. I'm Barbie Ann Maynard, and I'm from Martin County, Kentucky. I've been fighting for infrastructure for over two decades. I want to show you the infrastructure issues here in Martin County. We use bottled water for everything, for brushing our teeth, for washing our hands, for washing our face. And when I take a bath, I don't get to use all the smell good stuff until I've used my antibacterial soap for my body because of the bacteria that gets in our water through our line breaks. October 11th of 2000, there was a coal slurry pond embankment that broke and it dumped 306 million gallons of arsenic and heavy metal into our water supply right here and it ran into the Tug River, which is where we get our water. The chemicals that they're treating our water with are causing disinfectant byproducts. We have the warnings on the back of our water bills that says if you are pregnant, infant, elderly, have a compromised immune system, consult a physician before consuming this water. If consumed over many years, it causes liver damage, kidney damage, central nervous system damage, and twice it says increased risk of cancer. And we've got those warnings on our bill for decades. Okay, we're at our water treatment plant. It was set up in the 1950s to serve 600 homes. We have two clarifiers that are currently down and the system is on the edge of total collapse. This is the reason that 90% of the county relies solely on bottled drinking water. But realistically, if we have $50 million tomorrow, in five years, we would have clean water in Markham. And that still sounds like a long time, but we're going on 21 right now. If we don't start now, We'll never see it. So the infrastructure issue you'll see will be the roads. Then we'll see the bridges. The coal mines mined under our roads. So there's hollow spots. There was no enforcement of the weight limit. So they let the trucks drive overloaded on our roads. Look, this is what we have to work with in Mark County. Look, it's all the way over here. And when it goes, the whole thing is going to go. So we're going to be blocked again. This is the Nolan Toll Bridge. This was our only way to get to the interstate. Once it got damaged, instead of repairing it, they just closed it off. When you lose bridges, roads, you lose opportunities to grow. Businesses can't come in if they can't get their product out. Here you go. You want me to roll my window down? There's about 25 houses on the other side of that road and they have no bridge, no access in or out. We're standing on an abandoned strip mine and although coal is gone, they left us with the possibility for something else to come in here. We have large electric lines and we have large flat bottoms that would be perfect for factories to come in here. But because we have lack of infrastructure, that causes companies to not want to come and invest in Martin County. We want good paying jobs. And I can see that here. The people in Eastern Kentucky, we're workers here. We're resilient. But you have to have something to work with. We're 50 years behind the rest of the world. We need to catch up. We need investment in our infrastructure.